Hello everyone, welcome to the IjimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Tuesday, April 2nd, 2013. Well, a continuation of the downtrend today and uh, a lot of indecisive candles over the previous week or so. Uh, um, 22nd of March we had establishment of the downtrend with the candle that made a lower high and a lower low next trading period lower high lower low and then an inside day outside day inside day inside day and today an outside day so the prior trend to the downside remains in force and a very very large black body candle it's been some time since we've seen a black body of that size very very solid momentum from the sellers uh, previous days trading we saw the buyers find the resistance at the round number 1600 and today once again the market opened and attempted to trade up above the round number resistance at 1600 and has sold off in a very substantial manner. The uh, sellers have found some good solid downside momentum making a very large amount of net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. The sellers have closed with control of this market today and they've been very very strongly committed to taking this market lower throughout the trading day. We have seen uh, uh, some support down around the 1577 level, a prior area uh, in the recent past and in a zone extending down to 1559 so we could see this market trading down to 1559 or even down to 1523 and finding support anywhere down through these levels here this area between 1577 and 1559 has held as very very solid support so uh, not likely to see the market sell off too uh, too strongly initially and if we do see shadows on uh, candles following today and upside price rejection uh, it will suggest that the buyers are coming back into the market and there is potential for the market trade to trade back up to the upside having said that however there is a, a good limit to the upside here with uh, the Kijinsen Tenkinsen trading just below the 1600 level in the 1600 area now will uh, has potential to act as very very solid resistance we also have the cloud co close by and as we move further into the trading week then the cloud will come down to meet the market so uh, not good potential for uh, a solid price appreciation but uh, also the downside doesn't look uh, too bright because we do have this solid support extending down to this area around 1523-1524. In terms of the Fibonacci extension we're examining the relationship of the first time frame downtrend to the previous time the market's trending down and here today we've seen the market close in a bearish manner below the 161 point percent level haven't closed substantially below there but this strong bearish close does suggest that this market is destined for lower levels our next area we sh should be looking at is the 261.8% at 1554 coincides with this swing low and that will be very very solid support for this market down around this 1554-1555 level with the Fibonacci retracement today we've seen the market test to the 100% level and we saw some rejection from there so the market failed to close down below there a slight hint that we could see the market appreciate um, we have seen the market do a lot of work today and generally when we see that uh, markets need to have a bit of a rest and at the moment we are seeing a candle that's uh, that has a white body to it so there is a possibility of the market retracing uh, back up to the upside but solid resistance around the Kijin Sen which is around the 1590 level but certainly the short term dynamics aren't favouring any um, potential upside. The sellers are firmly in control of this market. Now next level of uh, support based on the Fibonacci retracement uh, if we do trade down through there in a bearish manner would be the 161.8% level down around the 1549 area, 1550 level. Now in terms of Ichimoku, a bearish market once again in all three time frames prior to today's trading we had the market trading above the Kijun Sen so a bullish market in the medium term time frame but that's all changed with this solid bearish close. This is a sell signal with Ichimoku charts and uh, with this very strong bearish um, close down below it does suggest that there is a good possibility of a decent reward from this sell signal it's a very strong signal because the signals occurred down below the cloud this market is now bearish in all three time frames we have a bearish bias in the long term time frame by trading below the cloud bearish in the medium term time frame by trading below the kitchen and the pink line and bearish in the short term time frame by trading below the tank and scene 
The uh, Kijutin, however, is still pointing flat, so we do need to be aware of that. And while it points flat, there is a possibility of price action being attracted back towards there, so let's bear that in mind, uh, that uh, there is potential for this 1577 level to hold and the market to retrace back up. So I think the, probably what we should be doing is watching the low of the current candle, and uh, if we do see solid bearish activity down below there, there is good potential for the market to test down to the 1559 level, but anywhere within this zone could see the market hold up and see uh, the uh, uh, buyers come back into this market.